Hello everybody, this is Graham Anderson and today I'm going to be looking at money bags. Now the idea for this short game is that you are an all group of thugs who have stolen money and each thief has got their own bag to divvy up the funds. But of course, you can't trust the other criminals around the table to evenly split up the funds. So the main mechanism of this game is a little bit of bluffing and what I would call maybe judgment or guessing. You can steal from other players and if you're stolen from and you think the other player now has more money than you, you can challenge them. But you have to keep track of how heavy the money bags are to see if you can figure out really who has the most money. Now I know this sounds a little confusing, so let's get it to the table to see if this is a valuable family treasure or something to be put in the next garage sale. Then we'll come back with my final thoughts on money bags. So here's money bag set up for four players. The goal of the game is to be the player with the most points at the end of the game, and you're going to be getting points by being the player with the largest pile of treasure at the end of each of the three rounds. One player is given the start player a marker, and they are the boss for this round. All other players are henchmen. The boss takes all the coins and diamonds and places them in the box lid. All players then hold out their bags and ask for money. The boss will distribute all the coins and diamond to the players, being careful not to show any players how much they are putting into the bag, and only the boss can see inside the box. Any amount of coins can be given to each player, including the boss themselves. The boss has to hand out all of the coins and diamond. One important thing is that all players should only ever hold their bags by the side and not place it in their hand unless you are in the process of transferring coins from one bag to another. And you may never look in any bag, including your own. Once all coins have been distributed, the round starts. Starting with the player to the left of the boss, each player will take one of three actions. You can steal from another player, that is, you pick another player and take their bag, and take as much loot as you want from their bag, including none at all, and put it into your own, making sure you never look into either bag and do not feel the coins in your own bag. Instead, you can just stand by in your turn, and that is do nothing. The last action to choose from is to close your money bag. If you think you have the most money at the table, you can pull the drawstrings and you're out of the round. You can no longer be stolen from, but you will not participate any more in the round. But you will be counting your treasure at the end of the round. Now, if you steal from another player, when you hand the bag back to the other player, that player can issue a challenge. They must challenge you before you count down from five. If they now think they have less treasure than you, then they will challenge you, and you both will empty your contents onto the table and stack up your coins. If either of you has the diamond, you place it pointy side up on the top of your pile of coins. If the challenger's stack is taller, they were wrong and they give all their money to you, and they are out of the round. If your pile is taller, then the challenger is right, and you give all the money to them, and you're out of the round. The round continues until it has gone round to the table twice, or all players can no longer play. Then all players empty their bags and stack up their coins. The player with the tallest stack gets three points, the next highest gets two, and third place gets one victory point token. Now you must have at least one coin in your bag to collect a victory token, and any eliminated players can't get any victory tokens. Next, the player with the diamond becomes the new boss, and the next round starts. And after three rounds, the player with the most victory points is the winner. Let's get back to see what I thought about money bags. So, theme and components. The theme in this one makes no sense. Not that it's not a fun theme, but it makes no sense. You know, why can't I look in my own bag? Why can't I feel my coins? I understand it's for gameplay purposes, but thematically, it just makes no sense. So on to the components. Now, I love these coins. These are by far the best uh, piece of the components. They have a good weight to them, they have a good feel in their hand, and they make some noise, you know, one dropped in the bag on each other. Which, of course, can be used for bluffing. Now, the bags are good quality, they're a nice burlap on the outside with a nice fabric on the interior, but the biggest problem with the components, and it definitely affects gameplay, is actually the size of these bags. They are way too small and narrow. Now, I understand that all the components have to fit in the size of box that Oinks uh, always uses, but I felt this time this size restriction really affected the gameplay which was unfortunate. So on to the gameplay itself. Is this a good game? Not really. That's not saying I didn't have any fun, but I'm not sure I'm going to be bringing this out with a bunch of gamers. But I did bring it up with family, and that seemed to work much better because it was so light and kind of easy to get into. So maybe family or party setting, this one seems to work for that. I like that the game was extremely fast. The box is 30 minutes, I think that's probably an overestimation. Most of the games I played, we were done in 15-20 minutes. You go around the table twice, and any challenges will almost always end up with someone dropping out of the round. So it definitely speeds up the rounds. And on your turn, 
you have three choices. It's not a huge amount, but again, for this style of game, and I think the group that they're going for, it's perfect. You're either passing, closing your bag because you think you have the most money, or stealing. Now, of course, stealing is the most enjoyable action. It's probably the only real action you have. But then how much do you steal? When you take a bag and feel the weight, do they already have fewer coins than you? Is a way to, to bluff them? But it's still a huge guessing game, though, is judging the weights of these bags is very, very difficult. And even when you get your bag back, you have to judge the weight. How much did the other person take? Did they take anything at all? Did they previously win a challenge and now you know that they have lots of coins? But again, with only the weights to go by, it's very difficult to tell. Unfortunately, the rules say you can only take coins from someone's bag and put them in yours. You can't go the other way around. You know, take some of your coins and place them in a bag to maybe have them challenge you. Which I could see that if you've challenged before and you've won, your bag is full of coins. Being able to bluff by putting them some in someone else's could be a way that you can get ahead. Now, one of the big surprise negatives for me for the game, though, was actually the bag size. I don't have huge hands, but the moving of coins was very difficult, and it really hampers gameplay. We almost always had to have people look at kind of it's somewhere else, so they weren't looking at directly what's happening. I think I would have preferred a screen that you can maybe manipulate the bags behind. So would I recommend this one? Ultimately, I don't think I am, but if you're looking for something that's a little different, that just about anybody can play at parties or family gatherings, this one might be one you could, you could consider. I love the coins, the way they clink together and the feel of the hands. I like that the game was also super simple to get into. It takes like two minutes to explain the game. I also like that it wasn't overly long, but I don't think I'm going to be playing this game multiple times in a night. But even though it was fun, it's not much of a game. There's very little info to you to go on when making decisions to steal coins or challenge people. And I'm not sure the skill of judging weights is really used in this game. And I also think that the challenges are probably a little bit too risky and too punishing. I almost felt that the game would have benefited from a few more rules. And finally, the bags. I understand they wanted to fit everything in the small box, but the gameplay and ease of play would definitely have been enhanced with larger bags. So I'm going to give this game a 5.5 out of 10. This is a one note game that once the novelty wears off, you realize that what is underneath is a little too thin to be enjoyable through repeated plays. But that's it for the moment. Until next time, thanks for watching.